Okay, so this is Copernicus, atmosphere copernicus.eu, and this is an animation of methane uh, emission and migration and movements and detection at um, surface level. At surface level, so this would theoretically be emissions from the surface or under the surface um, from Wednesday, the 19th of January until Sunday, the 23rd of January. Um, so that is very contemporary, that is like right now, and what to look for is these numbers. Um, basically, this 1900, um, 1900, 1960 parts per million number is about where we at are at now in, on average, and um, on average uh, throughout the world. But there are spikes and so on and so forth. There are spikes. And so as we get up into the darker levels, the, 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 these levels here, of course, you can see it's much, much higher. And this darkest one here is like really, really concentrated. So it's actually at 10,000 parts per million. So that is clearly anything in this color here would be a high concentration of methane, much, much higher, so high that... You know, it's like a real, real concentrated, co condensed area of methane, basically after an emission, like an emission cloud, you know, before it could possibly be dispersed. So those are the sources. Um, when you see this great vast area over here, I believe this would be China, if I'm not mistaken. There's obviously a huge amount over there, this would be Upper China, Mongolia, Siberia. Is that possible? You know, it's hard to tell. This would be like, is this Alaska and this Canada? Oh gosh, it's really somehow. This is Greenland. Mm -hmm. And this this would be Hudson Bay. So this is Canada and America here. So this would be the ocean. Uh, yeah, right here is Alaska right here. And here's the beginning of uh, Siberia. And this goes down. Um, so yeah, this would be Siberia and China and such. This would obviously be Asia, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, getting down over here. Um, brrr, oh gosh, this would be like... Oof, um, yeah, this would be like Africa. This would be... Still, the Euro European continent, Europe is over here, right? Yeah, and this would be like Norway. Norway, so this would be part of Europe. We can't see all of Europe here, but this is basically Asia and, you know, Russia and such. And so there's a huge amount of, um, huge amount of, emissions through these la uh, longitudes, um, as we can see. Um, they're just, they're constant over here, they're constant coming out here. These are real sources. You can see those as sources. Now, um, I can't actually tell you really where that is. I'll have to look it up, but you can see that these are constant. Like if you look at this point here, this point here, that is a constant point over all those days. So that's clearly an emission place. That may be some kind of well or a lake. The same is for these things here, right? Those are like, they look like forest fires. Well, that's basically what it is. But the methane source is underneath. This is clearly a source right here. Um, that's somewhere in, I don't know, this would be Germany over here. Uh, this would be like uh, the Ukraine. So this would be over there in the Ukraine somewhere. Yeah, probably some, like a coal plant. Yeah, this would be coal plants, I suppose. Coal, fact, coal, power factories. Uh, it's probably some of that up here. Anyway, so there's these solid sources. And there's also the area sources. Are, there, are these coal plants here that are constant, constantly in action? Is this one as well? Or... Are they methane, you know, permafrost emitting areas? That's possible. This is like a real spread here, but this spread is it stays is continuous. In other words, it it's not just one point. Um, as you can see, there's this blob here, and this is blob. These are sources. 
So, you know, I don't know if those are factories or power stations or if they are just natural fields of permafrost, permafrost emissions. And that might also be the case here. But then again, they might be man-made ones. These are clearly sources, very point point sources. Now, what interests me at this um, in this animation is when we go up into the Arctic specifically and we try to see about cath rates. Um, because we know that just under the sea surface, you know, it's very low sea surfaces up there in or around the coast in the Arctic, in the Arctic. And the over here, I don't know if there's any power stations. I would be very surprised if there were. However, here we see in the middle of the uh, Arctic Ocean, we can see in this low laying, it's a very low sea, apparently across here, it's, it's not very deep. In any case, where we, what we can see here is some continual sources, and this would be technically under sea sources, n'est-ce pas? This is kind of obvious, one here, one here, and of course one here. I see three uh, definite sources, one, two, and three. Um, one, two, and three. Yeah. So at this area here, uh, there is clearly um, uh, emitters. Um, yeah, those are clearly emitters. Um, it's kind of like over here in Siberia, in the Siberian, well, in the, in the Russian permafrost. These are clearly emitters. But anyway, these emitters, the difference is that this is permafrost terrestrial emission and this is undersea emission. Now, those undersea emission um, would be chimneys. Uh, that would be cathrate or hydrate uh, emissions from under the sea. And according to what I see is the, con the concentrations might signify, I have to go back in time and see more of this kind of thing, if this is usual now. But in any case, this is clearly the melting in the emission of uh, undersea methane, cathrate or hydrate um, sources. And it is continual. Um, it varies, but it does seem to be continual. So if we go back in the future, in the next few weeks, now we are in the middle of winter, you know, should be frozen solid, should be damn cold, but this is coming up. So I don't suppose it's going to get any better over time. Um, but so this, this emission thing ought to continue over time. Um, if it started, if the methane cath rate melting and emissions have begun underneath the sea, then um, it should be constant. It should continue. Um, right. One might be able to also um, say up here in this area by Alaska. This is actually Alaska, North Alaska. You might have a similar situation right here on the coast. It's so high north, it's certainly not a power station. Um, but um, this definitely looks like some very, very intense. It's surface level, remember. So it's coming from somewhere. Um, and it doesn't look to me like it's um, um, accumulating here. There's no reason for it to accumulate in one place. It does look like an emission. And then it sort of gets blown away. This might be burping, uh, non-constant. Whereas these points here seem constant. Okay, so that's, you know, basically, you know, and you can see here this methane emission over here in America is coming from somewhere in Dakota. This, I guess Minneapolis or Dakota, there might be lakes there and there might be a lot of lakes. Lakes give away a lot of emission. There might be some oil wells. They give up a lot of emissions. And there also might be, um, I don't know, uh, yeah, and this over here, this might be something similar, lots of lakes. I doubt if it's power stations. Um, over here, uh, which is down in California, Southern California, well, that's just certainly all of the, 
there's lots of wells and petroleum extraction, and there's a great deal of civilization and so on. And so this is obviously a super huge source. And uh, this, I don't even know what to say. This is like so massive. Um, and of course, this all adds up to something really huge, massive too. And we don't have the entire globe on this um, animation. Um, but this is real time, satellite done. And we haven't even got up to higher, um, uh, to higher from altitudes. This is surface level. So anyway, this is the thing that really has me scared, looking at these, which uh, it might signify the cathrate pistol trigger has been pulled. That might mean that. Okay.